Good morning. Today is Wednesday, February 8th, 2022. And I woke up at 9 a.m. this morning because I do have a 9.45 class, so I'm getting ready for that. I'm feeling a little bit tired. Getting up in the morning was pretty hard, but I know that I'll be awake in like two seconds and just be ready to go for the day. Right now, I am in one of the single bathrooms, or A, for uh, Sejo. Sejo is one of the dorms, and Sejo is actually a fresh dorm, an all freshman dorm. Uh, I am not a freshman. I am academically a sophomore, but socially a junior because I took a gap year between a freshman and sophomore year. And the reason I'm here is because at this point, I'm kind of living with my girlfriend who is an RA at Sejo. So I sleep on the futon, <laughs> but my actual dorm is Burbank and Burbank is an arts dorm. It is four class, meaning all classes live in it. And so I'm actually gonna be heading there right now to do my first class. So get ready for an action packed day. I think today's gonna be really fun just because I don't have a ton of homework to do and that's when I decide to film these things. Uh, obviously that's not every day I do have a a lot of homework a lot of the other times, but I am going to show you guys what I've been working on. And a lot of these classes are in our HCI classes, which is like human computer interaction design, which is something that I find really, really interesting. There's a ton of these design classes at Stanford and it's one of the things Stanford is known for. And so now HCI is not actually like an official major itself. It is part of a track on the CS major, so CS computer science, but I am actually designing my own major. So it is kind of my major. Um, however, I am calling it human centered design and engineering. But what it basically is, is a mixture of human computer interaction, product design, computer science, psychology, and a little bit of business. I'll film another video about making my own major another time. But now I gotta get going to my first class, which is actually Spanish, and it's being held online. Okay, I'm done with Spanish. It's now 10.47. I'm quickly getting ready before I am going to meet a friend for lunch. Um, this is gonna be exciting because we haven't gotten lunch before, but we met during NSO or met during person. Um, NSO is a new student orientation. And this friend is someone I met over the internet who was actually watching my videos and then we started talking over Instagram DM. And so, it's awesome, we get to meet in person now. All right, this is today's fit. Here we go. <laughs> Lakeside is so beautiful, and I've literally not even been here like all quarter, or all year even. I used to be at Lakeside every single day in, in my freshman year. Look at this symmetry. Hello. Hello, very cute. <laughs> Hello, I'm back from my lunch and that was so sweet. We had a wonderful conversation and now I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's see, I'm gonna go in my room. All right, so now I'm just doing some reading before class. So I'm prepared for lecture. <laughs> okay, so I read a little bit and then now I have class starting in a couple minutes, but it is hybrid and I don't wanna go in person. So I'm gonna go online, but my girlfriend was like, oh, you should come over because we're both in the same class. So I'm gonna come over back to Sejo where I woke up this morning and we'll do class from there. Also, it's like really hot outside today. It's 75 degrees and it's winter quarter. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hey, we're doing class online. And this is Kat. <laughs> so we just had a team break where we broke out into breakout rooms on Zoom and worked with our teams on our project. And right now we're designing the user interface for our app and I'm super excited about that and I love user interface. This is like my first time designing in Figma. And so yeah, I'm, let me show you what it looks like. We are still working on it, but these are a lot of the pages that we've created and I'm just going in and fixing up some design things here. 
Oh, also to explain some other things I do throughout the day, I run a business for college essay editing and consulting. Um, if you want your essay edited by anyone on my team, you can go to collegeessayadvice.com. So that's also what I do throughout the day. You know, I receive orders and so I'll put the orders in and assign it to people. <laughs> What can I do for my people? Please give me suggestions. <laughs> can make. Please give me suggestions in the comments. <laughs> Okay, so basically during class and a little bit after class, we were working on our app design. So we're in CS147, that's the class I was just in. Sorry, I have a mint in my mouth, hold on. Okay, so CS147 is the class we're in. It's called Human, it's called Human Computer Interaction Design. And that's one of the like main classes for design thinking. <laughs> I was talking. <laughs> Do you wanna explain? You wanna help ex yeah, um, I'm explaining um, CS147. We, we make an app, we have our own idea for solving a problem, then we prototype an app, and then we code it in the end. Yeah. And you know, we have a lot of stuff. It's a lot of work. Um, it's a, a lot team. of work. We work in a team, they teach you the entire design thinking process. I didn't see though. Okay, go pee. <laughs> We're going on a walk. Aw, <laughs> look it, this is Meyer Green, where people lounge and work. <laughs> Look at the little blossom. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we are at Kings Goat Gardens on our walk and I love it because it's so beautiful. And there is a bridge here. You wanna cross the bridge? <laughs> wow. My turn to cross the bridge. Ooh, rock the plank, don't fall off. Wait, this is such a cool shot. Look at that. <laughs> She's done with me. <laughs> I don't know what you're looking Wow, Lake Log is so beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. Hi. You're beautiful too. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Got some Girl Scout cookies because a girl was selling them in the middle of Meyer Green. <laughs> mm, okay, just tried them. Very, very good. These are the Thin Mints. I am back in my dorm. Kat had to take a meeting, so she left. And now I have about 20, no, 15-ish minutes before I have to leave again to go to my next class, which is dance. It starts at 5.30. So I'm taking Contemporary Modern 3 with Kara Davis, and it's a really lovely class. She focuses a lot on technique, and so we do a lot of technique work, and then we do a combo at the end, and she's very big on like, do it from the front, now do it from the side, now do it on your right side, now do it on your left side. So it really challenges your brain to think a lot, but I have a great time in that class. All right, so while I am just kind of hanging out before I go to my next class, I can explain some things for you guys. <laughs> so I explained to CS147, which was the main class that I'm taking that takes up a lot of my time, but I will talk about my other classes now. So in conjunction with that class, there's another class that goes along with it called CS47. So you got 147 and 47. Now 47 is a mobile app development class, which is a really, really great skill to have. It teaches you how to code in React Native, which is the platform platform that you can use to build mobile apps on both Android and iOS devices. It's actually a student taught class and every week we have an assignment, although it's really not that big of an assignment compared to other CS classes here. Like your usual set of CS 106A, CS 106B, 107, etc. Those are like really heavy, hard CS classes that require so much work and so much time and energy, but this one's much smaller, it's only two units, and the projects are really fun. Later tonight, I can probably show you an example of what our homework assignment was. We used a Spotify API and kind of like rebuilt Spotify. And so this quarter, this winter quarter, I'm taking it a little bit on the, not easier side, no, no, no. I think I'm doing myself a service by not pounding myself on so many units. I'm in 14 units, so I'm taking, you know, those two classes, Spanish, like I had earlier this morning, dance like I'm going to have very soon and this other one unit called design summer. Design summer is a really interesting class because no one really knows about it here and it just kind of like pops up in your email and someone's like you've been nominated to sign up for this class like if you want to go fill up the spots. So that's what happened to me so I was like okay I guess I'll just sign up for this class and basically what it is is a series of four workshops so it's not like a class that meets every week 
just four different workshops throughout the week or sorry, throughout the quarter. And it's really focused on career building and making a portfolio and a website to showcase your work and the projects you've worked on and updating your LinkedIn and updating your resume. And I think it's really tailored toward people who are interested in like design, human-based design, product design. So a lot of the students have interests around there, but also there's people majoring in tons of different things who are also in that class. I'm off to dance. I am sweating. That was a great class. Really worked us out. Super, super fun. <laughs> Gonna go change back into my pants. <laughs> Helmet. <laughs> so straight. But anyways, I there's no bike racks. I went all the way back to my dorm. And there's no bike rack to fit my bike, so I'm gonna figure out what I'm good to do. Also, my bike has like a problem. Look at the handlebars. It like, oh, you can't see if I, eh, hold on. The handlebars like move, they're so loose. So that's definitely a problem. So I don't know if I'll be able to fix it with tools because I don't know how to fix a bike, but I may just take it to the bike shop tomorrow. Let's see. Okay, I tried and I learned that either my tools are too small or I don't know how to fix a bike or both. So I will be taking it to the bike shop tomorrow. You know, the first time I vlogged a day in the life in my freshman year, winter quarter, exactly two years ago, I hated it. <laughs> if I'm completely honest, I didn't appear like I did, but I did because I felt like it was interfering with like how I perceived my day um, because I was so like in my phone recording all the time. Oh, it's so dark, you can't see me. But this time around, I actually don't feel like that. I really enjoy filming this vlog and it feels like I have a little companion with me throughout the day. And it's you, you're my companion. <laughs> this is my meal and this is not a drink. In fact, it's a rice pudding with vanilla ice cream and cornflakes on top. And you may think I am crazy for that. And you know what? I am. Hey, it's Divya. Hi, guys. <laughs> she decided to sit down and join me. I know. Thank you, thank you. Pretty cool, guys. <laughs> Hello. It's 10.40 p.m. And I don't know what happened, but basically, after I ate dinner, I came back to uh, the dorm and... <laughs> Hi. Hi. Ah! <laughs> okay, turn around. <laughs> I came back to the dorm and then Kat was taking a nap, and then I was what? like, oh, nap. So then I accidentally took a nap for a couple hours, and Kat left to go to her meeting or whatever, and then she's back here now, and I was planning on doing some work, but look how the night ended up. I'm still gonna do some work because it is only 10.40, so we'll probably have a late night today, but that's okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> It is now 1.30 a.m. and we have been working nonstop on our app design, our UX UI design for our project for CS147. And yes, Kat and I are on the same team. We're working on the same app. So we're working in the same Figma file right now. And I'm really excited about what we're doing and I wanna give you a little glimpse. First we started with like a paper prototype. This is just a lo-fi thing we did last class. And then we started putting it into this format, which is in Figma. But I wanted to redesign this because this was just like building blocks and. So I redesigned it to like this screen. Ignore the other screens, please. They're not done yet. Hi, this is me a day later. And this part of the app now looks like this, but it still needs some more design revisions. Yeah, so I'm really, really excited about our project and it is really late, so I need to go to bed because I still have Spanish in the morning at 9.45. Overall, today was really, really fun and really, really relaxing and made me so grateful to be living this life and being here at Stanford. And I love my girlfriend, Kat. Aww. So I'm probably gonna shut down now, get ready for bed, and make my futon bed again because that's how I'm living these days. I tell them that. Why? Because they're gonna be like, you and your girlfriend don't sleep in the same bed, so weird. Okay, well listen, the reason why we don't sleep in the same bed, just to clarify for everybody, is because this is a twin. It's a twin size bed and we're in college and it's really hard to sleep in a twin size bed. <laughs> so we make do with what we have. Okay. 
I'm gonna go get ready for bed and I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> video, this vlog. I will see you later with whatever videos I come out with next and I hope you have a wonderful day. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>